What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Double Dribble. In today's episode we're going to be looking at um, the number one prospect coming out of the class of 2013. But before we get into the video I just want to quickly say if you're a fan of basketball, whether that be high school, the college, or the NBA, um, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, join the conversation. We love interacting with you guys in the comments. Uh, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you watch this video all the way to the end because it helps out more than you know. So let's get right into the video. Today we'll be looking at the number one prospect coming out of high school according to ESPN's top 100 rankings, and that is Andrew Wiggins. Uh, he's a 6'7", 205-pound small forward coming out of high school. He played at Huntington Prep, and he's from Thornhill, Ontario, Canada. Uh, he played in the McDonald's All-American game. He played in the Jordan Brand Classic game. He ended up signing with Kansas. He had offers from Kansas, Florida State, North Carolina, Kentucky. He's a 97 overall five-star prospect um, coming out of high school, and really uh, he had you know, a ton of expectations coming out of high school. I mean, he really he had the nickname uh, Maple Jordan or Junior Jordan, and we'll get into that a little bit later in those nicknames. Uh, but like I said, he ended up signing with Kansas. He goes to Kansas, has, um, has a great year at Kansas. He's the number one overall draft pick in the 2014 NBA draft. Uh, he's drafted by the Cavaliers, but then traded to the Timberwolves. He plays six seasons with the Minnesota Timberwolves. While there, he averages 19.7 points per game, 4.3 rebounds, and 2.3 assists. Uh, he then gets traded to the Golden State Warriors, where he averages 18.3 points per game, uh, 4.7 rebounds, and 2.5 assists. So, uh, for his career, he averages 19.5. Uh, points per game, four rebounds, and two assists while shooting 44% from the field. Andrew um, just really hasn't lived up to the expectations. Unfortunately, he gets drafted by a team like Timberwolves, who you know aren't very good at uh, developing their draft picks or their young guys. If you look at a guy like Zach Levine, he gets drafted there. Um, he's a good player, but nothing special. Gets traded to the Bulls, and you know he just kind of explodes. He is turned into the guy that he is now, and. Um, is just having a great um, career with the Bulls. Um, Andrews, and you know, a guy that his, he was in the Timberwolves system for a little too long, just didn't really develop. However, I don't think it's all in the Timberwolves. I think one of the biggest things is his drive, his motivation. Um, really, he didn't, he doesn't do a whole lot other than just try to score the ball. He doesn't give you many rebounds at six seven, super athletic. He doesn't really give you any assists, being you know a playmaker off the dribble, uh, passing the ball, anything like that. He doesn't play any type of defense, so really all he does is go out there and try to score the ball, um, throw some, throw up some shots, and uh, see how many points he can score. And he doesn't even do that, you know, at a great, great level or a great percentage. So um, I just think he had had so many expectations for him coming out of high school with the nickname Maple Jordan. So you know, Canada's version of Michael Jordan, uh, Junior Jordan is another nickname he had, or the Prospect was another one. So. Um, you know, Maple Jordan was the biggest one I heard um, coming out of him from high school and, and even in college. So, when you have that nickname, uh, you know you gotta live up to the hype. You gotta live up to the expectations. And Andrew just he just really hasn't. I mean, he's a good player in the NBA. Uh, like I say, just nothing great. Um, just hasn't lived up to the expectations and uh, you know done what a lot of people thought he was gonna do. So. Um, Really, that's about it with Andrew. Like I said, just kind of a—he's a good player, but nothing great. Didn't live up to you know to the nicknames, all the hype that he had around him, or uh, you know done as much as people thought he was gonna do. So um, make sure you guys leave in the comments down below your thoughts on Andrew. Uh, is he gonna turn around with Golden State? He's had some you know some decent years there, or in these two seasons there, he's you know he's played all right. Um, or is he just gonna kind of continue to be? Uh, you know the player that he has been his whole career in the NBA just um, not really do a whole lot other than try to score the ball so uh, leave that in the comment section down below uh, make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one peace